Hey guys, welcome to the 31st Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the rib tool. And the rib tool will basically just allow us to easily create support for something. So let's just say we wanted to provide support for this wall right there. Well, in order to use the rib tool to do so, we're basically just going to have to draw a line that connects this surface with this surface right there. And that line will basically just act as the profile for our rib tool to follow. So obviously if we're going to draw um, a line that connects this surface to this surface, we're going to have to draw it on something. And I'm going to go ahead and just draw it on this work plane right there. And as you can see, this work plane just intersects both of these surfaces, so it'll work perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on this work plane right here and click New Sketch so that I can draw on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just project this line and this line um, onto my sketch so that I have something to draw the line in between. So I'm just going to go up to project geometry, select this line right there, and select that line. And as you can see, um, I now have this line and this line um, on our sketch right there. So now all I really have to do is just draw a line that connects this line and this line. And this line that you draw will just act as the profile, and it can be anything. So you can draw it with just the line tool or make it an arc or a spline. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and just use the spline tool up here. So again, all I have to do is just connect this line with this line right there. So I'm just going to draw a spline in between the two that just connects them. All right, and just once again, just make sure that your line does come in contact with both of these lines right there. All right, so once you have your line drawn, just go ahead and click Finish Sketch. So now we have our profile all created, and we can just go ahead and use the rib tool up here. And let me just go ahead and rotate this around. All right. So now just go up to the rib tool and the first thing that it wants you to do is just select the profile and the profile for us is just going to be the line that we just drew. So I'm going to go ahead and select my spline right there and the next thing that I have to do is just select the direction and to do that just go over and click this direction button right there and basically just move your mouse around until you get the direction that you want it to be in and I'm going to have to actually rotate this and all right, there we go. So now I got the correct direction. And once you're satisfied with the direction, just go ahead and click. And now I'll just lock that direction in place. All right, so the first thing that we can edit is the thickness. And the thickness is basically just um, this right here. So how far it is across right there. Right now it's at point 0.1. If I made it at point 0.2, it would obviously be bigger. And if I made it at point uh, zero 0.05, it would obviously be smaller. And I'm just going to keep it at point 0.1. That seems like a good width and you can also edit the direction of the extrusion so right now it's split right down the middle so it's the same on this side as it is on this side but it really doesn't matter which direction you have it in you can make it to the left or to the right I'm gonna keep it in the middle though I think it looks best like that and the last thing that we can look at over here is the extents and right now we see that this rib is just completely solid so if I were to click OK right now we see that this is one solid feature right there well, let's say we didn't want that. We wanted it to be more like that. Just um, this all be open space in there. Well, what I can do is just select this extents right there. And now it looks more fancy, like a rail, I guess, instead of that block look it looked like before. And we can actually edit how thick this is right here. Right now it's on point 0.2. If I were to make it bigger, like point 0.5, we see that it's larger. If I made it point 0.1, we see that it's smaller. And I'm going to actually keep it at point 0.1 and go ahead and click OK and as you can see it just created our rib right there or our support beam um, for this wall so that's pretty much it for this tutorial so see you guys